Jason, we'll leave you to it then as you make your way to check out the situation in and around the area of Springfield. Uh, let's bring into the conversation Dutugo Mate, who is Divisional Commander uh, at the Eteguini Fire Department. Mr. Mate, thank you for your time. Let's start with the situation in Hammersdale. What do you know about that fire at that cold room uh, storage facility, that warehouse there, and what has been your response to it? No, thank you very much. Uh, good day to you and to your viewers. Uh, uh, on Monday the 12th, uh, we received a report that uh, the warehouse, uh, the sequence uh, logistics uh, cold storage warehouse, uh, was being uh, looted. Uh, this we received at night. And then on Tuesday, uh, the 13th, uh, that's when we received our first call of uh, a fire being reported in that facility. Uh, we then uh, dispatched uh, uh, two uh, rescue uh, uh, firefighting fire pumps, uh, as well as uh, several water carriers to that uh, incident. Uh, however, at that time, there were still uh, looters uh, around. The uh, problem also was that uh, there were a lot of uh, vehicles on the road. Uh, I think those were the people who were participating in uh, transporting whatever that was being looted. Uh, which made it a, a bit difficult for the department or the fire department to access the facility. Uh, by the time uh, we access uh, that facility, uh, there were still people who were in uh, the facility. Uh, we did uh, put uh, uh, the, 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 that section where the fire was, uh, and then we had to retreat because uh, people were coming from the back. Uh, they broke uh, the the the. the the fence at the back is a, is a fence as well as the, 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 the wall that they've broken in several uh, sections where they enter. Uh, it's mostly people coming from a village, uh, the location called the Mlaba village at the back. So they've got vehicles also parked at that section. So it made it difficult for us because they were they will come in still wanting to loot whatever that was still inside that facility. Uh, then on, uh, again, uh, on, 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 on the 16th, uh, we then again received a call. By that time, uh, uh, when we responded, the, the roof has already collapsed. Uh, at least at that time, uh, there were no vehicles blocking the, the access. Uh, the looters, although they were still coming in, uh, we, we again went there. It was then unsafe for us uh, to work uh, in the structure because the roof and the debris and everything it's on the floor. It's slippery uh, for firefighters uh, to work in, and that call we received right. at night. Mr. Mate, because of time, let me ask you then to talk about the situation as it is right now uh, in and around that area of Hammersdale. Uh, we just got a call uh, around 10 again to respond there. Uh, we did respond. Uh, when you got there, we had a, a conscious of police and the army that was in the facility. Uh, we then uh, committed uh, some of our men to do the firefighting, and then the police had to leave. Uh, they, there was a roadblock uh, that was being done on the main road just uh, opposite the, the, the facility. Uh, when that uh, happened, when the police left, uh, then people came back. Uh, more than 300 people or so uh, had to come in, and then they started becoming hostile uh, to the firefighters that were extinguishing that fire. So we had to retreat. Uh, because uh, people uh, still want to take whatever that is left there. So in the meantime, uh, we'll await uh, 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 the presence of the police there. Once the situation is under control and they've secured the facility, we'll be able then to go back uh, and try our best uh, to put that fire out, although... Ex a really dangerous situation. Mr. Mr. Mate, excuse my, excuse my shock, and I'll respond by saying, are you kidding me? Are, are you kidding me? You have a situation where you are saying to me that there are still people who still insist that they will continue to loot despite the police and the army having been there earlier on. Is the situation really that bad that even your, your, your members are finding themselves in a situation where they are even being threatened by these people? Uh, I can confirm that, uh, that that's the situation. Wow. Uh, police are having a difficult time because they will remove them and then they will come back in numbers again wow. uh, uh, using the back entrance because there is a forest at the back. So they hide there and then they come back again once the police go and, and, uh, on the other side of the building. And you're saying the number was as big as 300? 
uh, at some point we, that's when we retreated. Uh, uh, we, we could manage when they were like less than a hundred. We could speak to those people, but I think then they went went back and regrouped and come back in numbers now. Yeah. And we had to retreat at that time because they were now being hostile because they thought uh, we were fighting them with the jets of water that we were using to extinguish the fire. So they were also inside in, through the smoke. They they are so. Uh, uh, committed to do this, they will go inside mm. the flames and the smoke. This place is smoke locked, but they will go in, uh, trying to re uh, retrieve whatever that they can retrieve there. Wow! So there you have it. Then that's the situation. And I know that in your line of work, Mr. Mate, you have a saying that says, um, "Who needs a a, a dead a paramedic or emergency official?" So safety comes first because you can't help anyone once you are also put in harm's way. Um, so definitely understand that principle. It, it's applicable in many, many fire departments across the country uh, and uh, for, you know, um, emergency workers as well. Before I let you go, Mr. Mate, what can you tell me about the situation at Springfield? Do you have another fire there on the go? Well, um, um, because I cover the western region, I wouldn't be certain of what is happening okay. in the central. That belongs to the central region. So I'm not sure uh, there is a division commander that is dealing with that, yeah. which is Nkulu uh, I wouldn't have information about that incident. I fully understand. Thank you for that, Mr. Ntutugomate, who is division commander at Etegwini Fire Department. There, you heard it for yourself. We are being told that the state is uh, in control and has regained control. As we speak now, firefighters are not able to do their work. They are not able to put out that fire that Dasen Tatia has been showing you. Uh, because while in the midst of dealing with the flames and the smoke, in the area. Initially, the Ndutugo Mate telling us that there were police and, SAP, uh, and SANDF members who then had to leave to man a roadblock, and Dasantathia did show you that roadblock uh, at an adjacent road, the main road that passes through that area of Hammersdale in Guazulu Natal. As soon as the police and the army left, um, Ndutugo Mate tells us that hordes of people uh, emerged from the neighboring uh, bushes and, and uh, forest uh, nearby and basically started looting. Uh, he says they are adamant uh, and they are persistent uh, in their wanting to loot, uh, and they ended up being uh, threatening um, towards the uh, emergency workers there who had then had to retreat.